Hi again, this is Freddie with webdesigntipsandtricks.com and in today's tutorial I'll be showing you how to create an image with a rollover effect uh, using Adobe Illustrator and CSS uh, without the need of preloading any images or using any JavaScript. Now to give you an idea of what I'm talking about, you can see here on, on my screen, on my monitor, how I created a home button with the normal state of it being in a dark brown and the hover state of it being in a light brown or a tan. So let me go ahead and show you how to do this. Okay. Now, first of all, we open up uh, Adobe Illustrator, and we're going to create a new document, and we're going to call this Home Button. Okay. Now, we're going to make it 240 pixels wide by 40 pixels high. Now, I'm going to zoom out just a little bit so that you can see what I'm going to do here. Go ahead and select the rounded rectangle tool. I'll go ahead and click anywhere, and we we'll want to make this button 120 pixels by 40 pixels with a corner radius. Of four pixels. You can choose whatever you like, but in, in this instance, we're going to be using four pixels. Okay. You'll notice here that I, create, I created my button here on the on the canvas, and I'll be I want the stroke to be aligned inside of the button, and I want to change the color of the button to a dark brown. I'm going to align it all the way to the left. We create some text. Just put home there. I'll make this a little bit bigger. 18 points. I'm going to try to center it as much as I can there in the button. I'm going to change the color to white so that it's a little bit more visible. Now I just created the normal state of the button. Now I'm going to create the hover state. You go to edit, copy. If you click on paste, it's just going to paste right in the center of the document. Okay. This one we're going to shimmy it all the way over to the right and create the hover state. We're going to go ahead and set the background to a light tan. In Illustrator, that's all you need to do. Very uh, straightforward, very simple. We've already created both the normal state and the hover state of the button. So we're going to go ahead and save this. File, save for web and devices. We're going to save it as a JPEG. Go ahead and save it. And I've already created the folders for this um, for this uh, tutorial under CSS rollover, images, and we're going to go ahead and save it as homebutton.jpg. Let's go ahead and save that. Replace it. Okay. I'm going to close this. I'm not going to save the Illustrator file because I just need the image. Okay. Now let's do the HTML for it. First of all, I already created the index.html as well as the style sheet for the CSS that we'll be doing. So I'm just going to open up the, the style.css using TextMate. You can use whatever text editor you use. You want to use TextEdit, Notepad, or even Dreamweaver in Vue. But I open up the CSS document. I'm going to create some of the characteristics that I want. Okay, We're going to tell this that anytime there's a hyperlink with the class of home button, we're going to give it certain uh, directions. We want it to display in block. That means it's going to show only what is within the dimensions that we give it. For example, the dimension we're going to give it is the width of 120 pixels, a height of 40 pixels. Okay, that's the size of our button. We're going to do a text indent of negative 5,000 pixels. This is so that the text of the link won't be visible. It'll be shimmied over 5,000 pixels. It'll be off the screen. That way, you will only be able to see the image for the link. And, and you'll understand this later. But now we want to go ahead and send the, the background, want the image that we made. So we'll use the URL images folder home, home button dot jpeg. Okay. We want text decoration None. We don't want this hyperlink to be outlined or underlined. I don't want any text decoration, so that's why we have to give it that information. Now we're going to create the hover state. When it's hyperlink, when it hovers, and the class is home button, we want the background position to move over to the left. 120 pixels. I'm sorry, to the right, 120 pixels. We don't want it to move up and down, so we'll put zero. Okay? 
That's all you need for the CSS. We'll go ahead and save this file. Just go ahead and file, save. Okay, we'll go ahead and close that. Now let's go to the index file. Okay, I'll uh, open this up with TextMate. Okay, first of all, we're gonna name this home button. And I wanna make reference to the CSS style sheets. I wanna link this index.html over to my style sheet. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a link and type is text CSS and we're going to put rel style sheet okay and we'll make reference to style sheet style dot CSS okay so now it's linked over to the CSS. Whatever CSS we put in that style.css will be referenced here in the index.html. Now we're gonna create the hyperlink or the button for the home button. Do a class, remember, home button. And I'm not gonna have this point anywhere, so I just put href and then put the, the pound sign and we'll call this home and close that hyperlink. Go ahead and save that. File, save. Just go ahead and close this. And now we'll open it up with Firefox. And there's our home button. The normal state is a dark brown. The hover state is the light tan okay simple as that you can do this with all the buttons that you'll be using on your website or even uh, as a menu item okay but simple as that I'll go ahead and uh, add these images uh, add these files uh, in my blog post but if if you'd like to comment on my blog go ahead and feel free again this is Freddie with webdesigntipsandtricks.com and I hope this helps you out thanks have a great day bye bye